The going is tough, and when the opportunity arises, I give my camel a well-earned rest and take to my feet until the sun starts its long descent. Finally, with the light beginning to fade, I start to look for a place to camp, but a landscape that provides no shade during the day offers little shelter by night. This place was, this was in, right on the border of Morocco and Algeria. It was, I would say it was, it was the hottest, hottest place that we have ever filmed. Um, we did film up in Kenya uh, that was incredibly hot too, but this one was, was so hot that we could only film and be outside, uh, at least out exposed in the sun, for just a few hours in the early morning and maybe in the evening, but during the midday it was just simply just far too hot. We had to shut down everything and, and uh, find shelter from the sun, like get under um, some of the locals' tents and uh, shades of trees. This is as good as it gets out here. Okay, this is where we're sleeping. Clear off the spot. And uh, yeah, we'll get a good night's rest. Whoa, look at that. There might not be a lot of different kinds of animals that live in such a challenging environment like this, but the one thing that has really um, become so successful in this environment are scorpions. You find these scorpions all over the place. And um, yeah, scorpions are really unique in that they can, they're one of the animals in the world that can live the very longest without food, the very longest without water, and can experience the greatest temperature changes than any other animal in the entire world. So they can, they live, they, many of them live in an environment where it can be freezing and frost during the night, but the temperatures during the heat of the day get up to 120 degrees um, during the day. So this is an environment that's a lot like this. And um, yeah, <laughs> this is a place just full of scorpions. That scorpion right there. There are over 1,700 types of scorpion, but the ones that can kill people live in the desert. I have experience with species like this and know how to avoid getting stung by careful handling. Just by reading animal behavior, um, if the scorpion is in a, a real threat response, uh, it's letting you know, don't pick me up. But if, it's, if you can pick it up and the scorpion itself is, is feeling comfortable walking around you, maybe even curious about, about uh, me. It's, go, it's mutual sometimes. Um, it's a nice interaction and um, yeah, I don't want to just know animals by looking at them in pages of a book or seeing them on the internet. I want to I wanna be in the environment where they live and I want to continually learn about them and sometimes I have to be this close to a lot of those animals. Wow, that is a venomous predator. So well adapted to live in this area of the world where not very many other animals can live. These guys come out at night, and if I was to accidentally step on this guy, I'm apt to get stung. Worldwide, around 5,000 people die every year from scorpion stings. I know that I'm always touching or holding different creatures, and to me, it just, it's what I've been doing my entire life. But then if I really was to think about it, why do I do that? Because one of my friends said, well, why, why are you always like picking up snakes? And um, I guess it's like everything that you love, a lot of times you touch, like a beautiful car. Sometimes you just, even though there's, you just kind of want to like feel it. And um, sometimes we just want to get closer to the things that we love. So the Bear Bar Nomads, they make this, it's called Catran. Catran is an anti-scorpion agent made to an ancient Berber recipe. A mix of desert woods is superheated inside a closed container. The resultant blend of saps and resins coalesces into a black viscous liquid with a pungent smell. 
This is a traditional technique whose origins are lost, but which has been passed down through many generations. It's very smelly. It's almost like a tar. But you put a little bit of this around where you sleep. Some of these scorpions are just uh, so venomous that uh, just a little simple sting can be life-threatening. So the Berber nomads try to avoid that by um, protecting themselves. So they'll, they have a certain concoction that they make out of a local plant, which is almost like this tar syrup. And it's, it, when, when they extract it, it smells a lot like something like a petroleum product, like a kerosene. But uh, in this scene, it shows how they're making it. And then I brought this with me so I don't wind up accidentally rolling over on one of these scorpions because I was sleeping outside. If you like what you've just seen, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.